Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week four in college football right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. And Joe Duffy's uh, taking a bunch of high-profile games with kind of tough lines, but uh, he's willing to tackle those games no problem at all. He went 7-2 and two against the spread in our videos last week. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks for being back with us. Well, thank you for having me back, Peter. All right. Before we get to uh, Florida, Alabama, give a plug for OffshoreInsiders.com and to tell everyone how you're doing uh, this year in football. And off another huge week led by especially the NFL. I've been called the NFL special since the score phone day, 7-2 and two in the NFL. Uh, winning week college and pro combined yet again off a winning preseason. I know I've already got quite a few wise guys already posted on the website for this weekend, www.offshoreinsiders.com. All right, Joe, Alabama's a 14.5-point favorite, totals 51.5, and, and the early money has come in on Florida in this one. Early in the week, uh, I saw 17.5 widely available, and I saw 19 in some places. And Alabama is pretty clearly an overvalued team this year, right? They're 0-2 against the spread so far, and we can just tell that, you know, they're going to have uh, trouble covering a, a lot of these uh, huge spreads that are going to be put on them, as opposed to years past, where they were actually a great Great bet with those enormous spreads against good teams. Florida, though, might not be the perfect team to go against them with. They needed overtime to beat Kentucky as a 17-and-a-half point favorite. So, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Alabama has their issues. Do we want to take Florida, though? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, as of right now, it would be a complete pass for me. What do you think, Joe Duffy? I'm going to admit that I had Florida entering the year as a team that could really sneak under the radar. As we know, they were ravaged by injuries last year. I was shocked that Will Muschamp survived, but because of all the injuries they had, he was able to survive. Still, I think he's just a bad coach. And we saw that, as you said last week. There's no question that Kentucky is an improved team. Kentucky is kind of this year's Vanderbilt. With the previous two years, Vanderbilt was really that, that team that emerged in the SEC. Kentucky is competitive this year, but there is no way that Florida should have gone the triple overtime to beat them. And they even got maybe a little bit of help from the officials. Uh, Alabama, this is the, their chance to really explode here. I, I think that they, they've shown in the past that they're not afraid to run up the score in Florida. And here is a very rare chance for them to do just that. Uh, Alabama actually has some weapons this year. Amari Cooper, he leads the SEC with 33 receptions, leads the nation. And he's got a conference leading 454 yards and two touchdowns. So I think I'm really going to go with the Bill Parcells theory here is you are what your record says you are. Now, in the case of Florida, not so much their straight-up record, but the fact that they have struggled and they, they really should have uh, beaten Kentucky last week pretty, sound, pretty soundly, and they did not. And I just think they're pretty vulnerable here. And uh, Alabama got a little bit of a, uh, a wake-up call, I think, a couple weeks ago when West Virginia gave them a bit of a hard time. Now, I wouldn't be surprised. I will say for totals betters, uh, as much as I'm not a fan of Will Muschamp, I think he's smart enough to know Alabama's weakness, which they, we saw again against West Virginia, is when you hurry up and try a spread offense, that's how they struggle. So I wouldn't be surprised if Florida does try some new wrinkles. But still, at the end of the day, they're not quite, you know, that spread and, and fast snap team that West Virginia is. West Virginia was playing right in their comfort zone. I think that's why they gave Alabama a hard time here. No, I just think that, that Florida... Uh, you know, it's just a matter of counting down the days. Whoever has, you know, firewillmuschamp.com is going to make a lot of money this year because I think Florida is going to get the rear end handed to them. Joe Duffy, MobshoreInsiders.com, recommending a play on Alabama currently 14 and a half. Thanks so much, Joe. Yeah, the value is there because my outlaw line was 19. Yes, Florida is the play. Thank you, Peter. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.